Hi folks, Damon here. I want to do a quick demo of submitting jobs on EMR on EKS. So this demo assumes you've already gone through the process of setting up Amazon EMR for EKS. A couple things I just want to call out there. One, you need to enable cluster access for EMR on EKS. So this just means mapping um, an IAM identity between an EKS namespace and your EMR cluster. You need to create a job execution role. So this allows each individual job to get access to the resources it needs. And then you finally need to register the EKS cluster with EMR. So you create a virtual cluster in EMR that points to the EKS cluster with the specific namespace that you have. So what does that look like? Let's take a quick look on EKS. So over here, we've got our EKS cluster. This is my Decor EMR EKS cluster. It's a mix of Fargate nodes and uh, managed C5 XLs. Inside of EMR, I've got my virtual EMR cluster here that points to my EKS cluster on that specific namespace. So pretty straightforward once it's all set up. So what does it take to actually run a job? Well, let's do that really quick. So what I'll do is I have a pre-configured job here. So let me switch over to there. And let me paste that job in and explain it a little bit. So what I've got is I've got the AWS EMR containers command and a start job run subcommand. And there I'll specify the virtual cluster ID. That's my decort virtual EMR cluster ID, the name of the job, the execution role that we already created. This gives it access to things like S3 or whatever um, other things it might need access to. And then the release label of EMR. So EMR 6.2 or 5.32, depending on which version you want. Finally, we've got our Spark submit driver. This is your Spark job that's getting submitted to it. I'm just using a local example um, PySpark job. This could be a file on S3 though. And then our Spark submit parameters to configure the number of executors and memory and, and everything else. So I'll go ahead and hit enter there. And what this is doing, this is submitting an API request request to the EMR API and creating a new job in that virtual cluster. So if I go into this virtual cluster here now, you can see I've got my sample job name, it's been submitted, and I've got a bunch of other uh, completed jobs in here as well. So if I wanted to, I could actually go and look at logs for those completed jobs. But what I'll do, I'll refresh this real quick. That's been submitted. I'll go ahead and click that, and I want to see what's happening on the Kubernetes side. So if I go to my Kubernetes dashboard, this is my Decort demo namespace. Actually, this job is already finishing. That's how quickly it is. Um, but there's a job submitter right there. So that is an EMR component that goes and submits the job. There's the driver that spun up and then you know created all the executive. So uh, before I could even switch over to that tab, this job is already uh, finishing up, which is pretty awesome, right? And so if I go back to my EMR console, uh, my log viewer there is uh, just taking a little bit to spin up. But that's how easy it is to submit a job to EMR and EKS. One command submits my PySpark code, goes and runs on the cluster, and it's already finishing up. So Super quick demo, I uh, just wanted to show that. Next, I'll talk a little bit about how you configure both CloudWatch and S3 logging with EMR on EKS.